now we will see some other tools in uh, text toolbar or text section so we have one option for place text node so you can click that and you need to see enter text node origin it is asking so you can select the text so i have selected the text but nothing here it is displaying so to display the text nodes so we must go here and you need to switch on the text nodes then we can able to see the text node over the text see here it is showing 9 and here it is showing 10 so that you can able to put wherever you want so this is called text node if you want to switch it off you can go back and you can switch it off so now we also have copy increment text so you can click that option and after identify element so selecting the element so here we can put the increment value so you can select it and you can select the element so must select text with the numeric string so from message center we can able to see you must select a text with numeric string so we can able to modify this in that case so now we can able to select so copy or increment text and select this one and you can able to put the value for increment and you can able to see micro station 102 103 104 and so on so if i am just uh, choosing that and i am just going to put a some 10 so for example i am just going for a new text so here also i am using inter character spacing 0.5 if you don't need you can able to put 0 now i am just going for a increment text now i am just going for 10 so select and place so you can able to see the increment value increasing in every 10 so until a1050 i have clicked so like this you can able to make use of this uh, option now we also have data fields so in this uh, text section a uh, text toolbar so you can just uh, open text as a toolbox so here also you can work with or you can uh, just click and work from there itself so in this text toolbar we also have single enter data field and then auto fill in enter data field so we will see what it is so for that we need to go for text first and here you can able to put a character spacing so 0.25 something like that so you need to shift underscore so like this you can able to type and you can able to place wherever you want so this we are going to use for data fields so escape one now you can just go for single enter data field now you need to see identify element here you need to select the element then it is like highlighting with the, this kind of rectangular box now you can able to like put some value in it so again you can able to just uh, select and you can able to type the value you want so no need to give any space it will take automatically since we have so i am just going for first we need to select so select so b100 okay 
so like this you can make use of a single enter data field so here we have copy enter data field so that you can able to copy and you can able to you can able to do like this so if you want to co copy this select and select and then select so you also have copy or increment uh, enter data fields so for example i am selecting this and i am just putting here because here the increment value is 10 like this it is coming again it will become 20 30 like that so again you can just click this option and select the data field to copy and you can able to place wherever you want So for uh, auto fill and enter data field, we must have some uh, some underscores again. So escape one. Now you can click this, and you can able to select view. You need to select, so it will automatically identify the data fields. So you can able to start typing it. So you need to put enter, it will go again to the next automatically, only you need to type like this. So just entering. So whatever you are entering, it will come there. So this is like a auto fill and enter data fields. So escape one to come out of the command. If you don't want toolbox, you can able to close it.